Hello everyone. This is Smita, working as an assistant professor in CMR Engineering College. Now I am going to explain about the reduction process and algorithm from software testing methodologies. Okay, let us uh, look at the reduction process and algorithm. So here uh, we are using a reduction process and algorithm to convert control flow graph to the path expression. Okay. So here we need to follow some steps to reduce the algorithm. Uh, in this algorithm we are removing the nodes one by one. Uh, so first we need to follow the step. So first one is uh, combine all the serial links. So serial links are nothing but uh, so which are written like this. These are the serial links. So which we have to multiply. And next coming to the second step, parallel links we have to add. Parallel links we have to add. Um, and next one is wherever we have loops. So those loops we have uh, to we have to remove by following um, by keeping the star. Example, if there is an expression x, so by removing the loop x, so it will get x star. Okay. So these are the steps we need to follow uh, to remove the nodes. So here if we take one example CFG, so this is the CFG. So from this CFG we have to remove a node by node. So first I am removing from this flow graph first I am removing the 10th node. So this is the step after removing the 10th node. So see here, here I am removing the 10th node. So 6 to 10 and 10 to 9 these links are in serial order. So we have to multiply. When there is a serial link we have to multiply those links. So by multiplying these two we will get IL as the expression. So which is from 6th node to the 9th node. Okay. And remaining all are same. In the next step I am removing to 9th node. So here by removing the 9th node there is a connection from 6 to 9 and 9 to 8. So 6 to 9 I have IL and the 9 to 8 the link weight is K. So here sorry uh, 6 to 9 link weight is IL and 9 to 5 is link weight is H. So these two links are in serial so we have to multiply these two then we will get the uh, link weight is from 6 to 5 that is IL into H so it will be ILH. In the next step I am going to remove 8th node. So here if I remove 8th node so first we have to uh, we have to check what are the links connected to the 8th node. So if we check here from uh, 6 to from 6 to 8 there is no link from 8 to 5, 8 to 5 we have through M and uh, only one link uh, we have from 8 to 9 and 9 to 5 if we remove the 9th one so we are 8 to 5 we will get KH ok and uh, by removing the 8th node so here uh, if um, here 4 to 8 and 8 to 5 there is a link so by removing this, these are in serial order. So we have to multiply 4 to 8 and 8 to 5. Then it will become GKH. So 4 to 5 link weight is GKH. And any other links. 4 to 8 and 8 to 7 also we have link. So by removing 8, these two are in serial order. So we have to multiply G and J. Then we will get the link weight from 4 to 7 is G, G, 4 to 7 is G, G. So this is the flow graph after removing the 8th one. And next one is, so here I am going to remove the 7th node. So by removing the 7th node, first we need to check what are the connections to the 7th node. So from 6 to, from 6 to 7, 7 to 3, there is a link. So if I remove 7, so these are in serial order. So we have to multiply IM into F. It will become INF. So this link from 6 to 3. And next link is 4 to 7 and 7 to 3. The 
especially so by removing 7 we have to multiply these two because these are in serial so g j into f so 4 to 3 linked by will be g j f ok so that's it so this is the chg after removing the seventh row so now this uh, now we have to check uh, whether there are parallel links or loops. So, if there are parallel links already I said we have to add the links. So, here if we check 4 to 5 there are parallel links 4 to 5 and uh, 4 to 5 C, 4 to 5 GKH. So, these are in parallel so we have to add C and the GKH. So, by adding these two we will get C plus GKH as the link way. Okay. So, next one is here uh, 3 to 4 and 5 to 6 we have two links but which is going one link is going from 3 to 4 and another link is from 4 to 3. So if we consider these two links so it will be in serial order and by removing one node from these two it will become a loop. Okay. So let us see how to remove the loops. See here. Um, 4 to 3. So first we have to consider this as the serial links. So if it is a serial link we have to multiply these two that is B into GJF. So B into GJF. So by removing this link so it will become a loop for third mode. So that is GJFB. And next one 3 to 4 uh, generally we have the link weight is B. And 4 to 5, this is remaining all graph is common because we are only I am removing, I am only I am making this links as the loop. Okay. In the next step, see here, uh, in the same way here also 5 to 6, uh, there is a link weight D and uh, 6 to 5 also there is a link weight I and H. So, these are in uh, serial order. So, first we need to multiply and then make it as a loop for fifth node that will become D I L H and the D is common and next is here 6 to 2 ok and next now see here 3 to 4 and 4 to 5 these two are in serial order so we can multiply these two link weight by multiplying these two we will get B into C plus G K H B into C plus G H as well as I am removing the loop also here. So by removing the loop already I said if there is an expression X by removing the loop it will get X star. So here X is the G J F B. So by removing the loop it will become star. So that is G J F B whole star. G J B G J F whole star. And uh, here these two are multiplied, so that will be the B into C plus GKH. Now fourth node will be removed, and the remaining uh, to the fifth one that is D I L H by removing it. So here we will get D I L H whole star. Okay, and five to six we have D, so that also I am included in this only. So here I am removing fifth node. Okay. So by removing the fifth node, uh, first uh, the expression, previous expression is B G J F whole star B into C plus G H and here I am removing this loop. So by removing the loop we will get whole star for B I L H that is whole star. Here 5 to 6 we have uh, link with D. So that also I added. Okay. And next one. 6 to 2 to there is a link with E that is algebra. And next coming to the step 9. See here finally we have to uh, get the expression without removing the initial node and the final node. So other than initial and final node here three, two more nodes we have that is 3 and 6. So these also we have to remove. So to remove this first uh, there is uh, one more uh, link from 6 to 3 so and uh, 3 to 6 we have so this also will be uh, will become as a loop. So how it will be see what uh, is the link weight we will get after removing this loop see here. 
So one two three is common, and next three two six. See three two six. The lymphoid is this one, and the six two three lymphoid is IMF. So if we consider these two links first, these are in the serial order. So we have to multiply IMF with this expression. So by multiplying this, we will get IMF BGJF whole star. B into C plus G K H D into I R H D whole star. So now this will become the loop of the loop. Okay. And next, this from three to six, we are not removing any nodes here. So the link weight of this will be common. Okay. And next, the final step. So here there is a loop, and the, we have to remove this loop as well as Third node and the sixth node also. Okay, so here one, two, three. Here I have written the final expression. See before that, observe here by removing this loop, the whole expression of this we will get the whole stuff. So that I have written here. Okay, and next one is this expression uh, from three to six. From three to six, we have this part. So that I have written here, and if I remove three and six, finally we have one and two. So one two three I have link weight A, and six two two I have link weight B. E. So all these one two three and three two six and six two two are in serial. So I can multiply A into this expression as well as B into this expression. So the final expression of this. Uh, Flow graph is A into IMF BGJF whole star B into C plus GKH D into IRHD star. See here, I am removing this loop, so this whole expression will become will get whole star. Observe here carefully. Okay, and next to this expression as usually updated. So this is the uh, initial node. And this one is the final node. So finally, this is the path expression. So the uh, aim of a road load uh, reduction procedure algorithm is we have to get the uh, shortest path expression or path expression from the flow graph. Okay. So what are the advantages of reduction procedure algorithm? So there are uh, it uh, reduces the time. It saves the time. Because actually the first stage is uh, this flow graph, but finally we need to get this expression. Okay. So from this, if you observe this flow graph, there are many paths, uh, but coming to the final uh, expression, we have only one expression. So instead of testing all these paths, testing only one expression is easy, and it will take the less time. And next one is. It improves um, it reduces the time and uh, it improves the efficiency also and uh, it uh, it improves test coverage. Okay, so these are the benefits of the reduction procedure algorithm. Thank you.